Hey guys, Beta One Studios right here with part two of my animated textures tutorial. If you haven't watched part one yet, I strongly recommend you do so, and I'll have it linked down below. Just as a recap though, in part one we created two different types of animated textures using some simple effects inside of After Effects. And now we're going to apply our newly made animated textures onto a 3D object right inside of Element. So let's get right to it. Alright, so here we are once again inside of After Effects. Now, for the sake of time, I'm going to be using the liquid energy texture as my example texture, but keep in mind that this process that I'm about to do applies to the carbon fiber texture and any other video or animation of your choosing. Now, in order to connect our animated texture to element, the most efficient way to go is to render out the animation into a video file. So, let's go up to Composition, Add to Render Queue, Choose whatever render settings you usually use for exporting animations to a video file. And get it started. Now all we have to do is wait for the animation to render out. Three days later. Twelve seconds later. Alright, so now that it's done rendering, we can use this as an animated texture right inside of Element 3D. Let's go ahead and import our newly rendered texture into the project window and open up another new composition. I'm going to use Ctrl Y to create two new solids here, the first one being solely for background purposes and the second one being our element layer. So let's take the top solid and apply element 3D to it. And let's also take our imported texture video drag it to the bottom of our composition, and hide it. Lastly, we're going to need a 3D object to start ourselves off. You can do a number of different things in this case, like import a mask of your custom logo, import a 3D object, or create some primitives inside of Element. But in this case, I'm going to go with a simple text layer. And you can't see what I'm typing because I'm typing black text on a black background. Let me change that color real quick just to make sure I actually typed when I wanted to type. Yep, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Now for Element to recognize our text layer and our texture, we're going to have to link them all together. So let's go to our Element layer, roll down the Custom Layer options, and under Custom Text and Masks, let's set up our text layer. And under Custom Texture Maps, let's make our Liquid Energy Texture Layer 1. Alright, so we are finally ready to jump into the scene setup of Element 3D. Let's hit Extrude to get our basic 3D text model, which we can also extrude to whatever thickness we want. Now let's scroll down to our Material Type and make sure that Physical Shader is selected. And finally, we arrive at our texture options. Now, all of these parameters have to do with specific options regarding 3D shader materials, but you don't necessarily have to know what every single one of them means. What we're primarily concerned with is the diffuse parameter. So let's assign our animated texture to the diffuse by simply rolling down the load texture options and selecting custom layer one, which is the one that we previously mapped. You can also set the other parameters to custom layer 1 if you want, but the glossiness, reflectivity, and illumination settings are simply there for greater control over your custom texture options. In this particular case, since we only created one video for our animated texture, assigning it to every single parameter doesn't actually do all that much for us. Once we hit OK and return to our main screen, you'll see that our 3D text has now been coded with our custom animated texture from before. And if we RAM preview it real quick, you'll see that our animation is actually playing within our 3D object. Now, just having a single bevel for this text might seem a little bare, so let's go back into Element. Let's select our extrusion model and create another bevel copy. Let's also apply a preset material to it so that it doesn't look too plain. 
What's interesting is that we can take our new bevel copy and increase the bevel size so that it surrounds our textured layer. Then we can decrease the extrusion so that our animated texture bevel kind of protrudes out of our static bevel. Now, the nice thing is that this entire block of text is now one single object, and you can animate it just as you would any other 3D object inside of Element. For example, if I just create a camera here real quick, as I pan around and animate some camera movement, the animated texture inside our text will continue to run on top of any other animations that we apply to it. And that's all there is to it. At this point, we've pretty much covered all of the basics that you need to know for creating and mapping animated textures right inside of After Effects and Element 3D. Alright, so that's about all I've got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it, and I will catch you guys next time.